Hi everyone, my name is Millie and in these videos we're going to be looking at a little bit of English grammar. Hola a todo el mundo, yo me llamo Millie. Estos videos van a ser para aprender un poquito de gramática en inglés. So we need to speak in English. These videos are going to be in English. Okay, vamos a hablar en inglés. Hi guys, welcome to class. Today we're going to be taking a look at possessive pronouns. And the first thing I've done is I've made a chart. Okay, so I've made this chart here. And you can see that they have, that I've put pronouns, possessive pronouns, which is what we're going to mainly be looking at, and then possessive determiners. Okay, I've put this chart because I want you to see all of these side by side. Okay, one right next to the other so you can see how they are similar iguales or parecidos and how they are different how are they similar how are they different okay because sometimes we can get the we can get them confused okay especially with possessive pronouns and possessive determiners when we're learning english you can get those confused so we're going to take a look at this chart Okay, like I said, today's class is going to be centered, it's going to be focused, um, centrada on possessive pronouns. Okay, and then next week, next week, we're going to look at possessive determiners. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be saying these slow, I'm going to be saying these slowly, so that if you want to repeat, if you want to repeat after you hear them, you can. Okay, if you don't want to repeat, that's fine. Okay, so first listen, and then if you want to repeat, you can repeat after me. Okay, so let's look at pronouns first. I, you, and this you, you see next to it, I've written singular and plural. Okay. Because you can use this word when you're talking to one person and when you're talking to more than one person. But instead of writing it out two times, I've only written it once. Okay? So one more time. You. He. She. It. We, they, and these are our pronouns, okay, our pronouns, and I'll, I'll say a sentence, I'll take I, and I'm going to say it in a sentence, I need glasses, I need glasses, because I really do, I need glasses, okay, so that's how you would use that pronoun, I need glasses. Now we're going to look at the possessive pronouns, okay? And later in the class, we'll, we'll look at these a little bit more, okay? So for now, I will be saying these slowly and you can just listen or you can listen and then repeat, okay? And if you, you'll notice that they're in the same colors as the pronouns, okay? So first, mine. Mine, yours, yours, his, his, hers, hers, its, its, ours. Ours, theirs, theirs, okay? And using that first sentence, so with I, I would say, I need glasses, I use glasses. With the possessive pronoun mine, I would use this pronoun to say who these glasses belong to, a quien pertenecen, who do they belong to? In this case, they belong to me. So I could say, these glasses are mine. These glasses are mine. OK, 
okay? So now let's look at the possessive determiners. These two, possessive pronouns, possessive determiners, can sometimes be confusing, okay, when you're speaking or when you're writing. So we will look at the possessive determiners next week, okay? For now, I will say these slowly so you can just listen or you can listen and then repeat. My. My. Your. Your. His. His. Her. Her. It's. It's. Our. Our. There. There. Okay. And you can see how they're similar. They're similar. But I see those. They're similar to the possessive pronouns, but they're a lot of them are not the same. Okay. And you do use them differently. Okay. You use them differently. So where I said, I need glasses. And then with mine, I said, these glasses are mine. With my, I could say, my glasses are red. My glasses are helpful. Okay. So let's continue. All right. Remember next week, we'll look at the determiners, the possessive determiners. And this week in this class, we're going to look a little closely, a little more closely at the possessive pronouns. So what are possessive pronouns? What are they? Why do we use them? So I'm going to read this and then I will explain it. Okay. So first just listen and then and look along, read along silently, okay? Because it's good for your reading skills. So possessive pronouns are words that show that something belongs to someone. Possessive pronouns are used in the place of a noun, okay? So what it says, possessive pronouns are words, okay? That show, what do they show? Well, they show that something belongs, belongs, the per pertenece, belongs to someone, okay? Or something, right? It belongs, it's your possession, right? Possessive possession, what you have, like these glasses, well, these glasses are mine. That computer, it's yours. That ball, it's his. That house is theirs. Okay? It just shows when something belongs to someone. Okay, So we're going to look through them one more time. Okay, And um, again, I will say these. It's good for you to listen and read along, and then you can repeat if you'd like. Mine. Yours. His, hers, its, ours, theirs. Okay, so these right here in this little blue box, these are our possessive pronouns. And let's look at some examples. Here we see girl eating lunch. She has a bun like me. So this lunch is mine. This lunch is mine. Who does that lunch belong to? Well, it's mine. Okay. And in the place of mine, well, you can change that. This lunch is yours. If the lunch belongs to you. Or this lunch is hers, if it belongs to someone else, right? This lunch is ours, if it belongs to you and someone else, okay? This lunch is theirs. So you change mine 
for any one of these um, possessive pronouns, any one of these words. This book is hers. This book is hers. Okay. So this book, who does it belong to? It belongs to her. It's her book. Okay. And again, you can change hers for any one of these words, right? If it's your book, if it's your book, what would you say? This book is mine. Okay. Now we have a house, a very pretty house. And it says, this house is ours. This house is ours. So if you were talking to your mom or your dad and you know, you're, you're, you're talking about your home, you could say that. You could say, this house is ours. These bikes are theirs. Do they belong to you? They don't because it's their bikes, okay? These bikes are theirs, okay? So we use possessive pronouns in the place of a noun. And I'm gonna show you with some examples. And while we're reading these, I want you to think, does it sound good? Do you think it sounds good? Can it sound better? And as we go along, I want you to see that the words that are underlined, the words that are underlined, okay, underlined, subrayadas, underlined, we can put, um, or we can use a possessive pronoun in the place of these underlined words, okay? So, this bag is my bag, not her bag. This cup is your cup. This ball is Tony's ball. That book about space is her book, not mine. And mine, there we have a possessive pronoun. The barking dog is our dog. The Smiths live in that house. That house is the Smiths house. So the Smiths, Smith is just a last name. Okay, it's a surname. And you can just, you can see that it's, um, it's just a family name, right? So it's a family, what family? The Smiths, okay? So the Smiths live in that house. That house is the Smiths house. Now think about these sentences, okay? And you can see that I've repeated a lot of words that I didn't have to repeat because I could have just used a different word, okay? So if you take a look at the underlined words in the first sentence, this bag is my bag, not her bag. Can I use a possessive pronoun in its place? I can. So instead of saying this bag is my bag, not her bag, so repetitive, right? It just doesn't sound, doesn't sound as nice. I could say this bag is mine, not hers. And you can already tell it sounds much better. Okay. It does sound better. This bag is mine, not hers. How about this one? This cup is your cup. What possessive pronoun can I use in its place? I can use yours. This cup is yours. This ball is his. This ball is his. Instead of saying Tony's ball, I can just say it's his. This ball is Tony's ball. This ball is his. How about this very long one? That book about space is her book, not mine. I can say that book about space is hers. Hers. OK, 
Can you see that it sounds better? Can you, can you tell? It sounds much better, doesn't it? How about this one? The barking dog is our dog. Well, instead of our dog and repeating dog again, what can you, what can you write? What possessive pronoun can you use? Have you guessed it? The barking dog is ours. The barking dog is ours. And then these two sentences here, you can see I repeat Smith's, the Smith's, Smith's. What can I say instead, right? House, house, it's again twice. What can I say? I can say the Smiths live in that house. That house is theirs. That house is theirs. Okay. Did you get some of these right? Were you able to think ahead? Okay. So this is where we're going to practice together. Okay. And you can see I've put some pictures up. Okay. So we're going to work on a couple of skills. Um, your comprehension. So let's look at the first sentence. That bag is mine. Okay. So in that sentence, in that sentence, there is a possessive pronoun. And I'm pretty sure that you already know which one it is, right? So there are certain things you can do. You can just listen and say it out loud and, and guess, right? Or not really guess, but um, say which the possessive pronoun is, right? Or this is much better because you practice your writing, you can write it out. Okay, you can write the sentence, the whole sentence, that bag is mine. And then you can either circle or underline, subrayar, underline the possessive pronoun. Okay, and then later when we check it, you can see if you've got it right. Okay, that you don't want to write out the whole thing, just write the pronoun. Okay, that you don't feel like writing at all, well then you can just say it. Okay, or you can picture it in your head. Okay, and um, for comprehension, so some people can do this very easily. Other people are still working on their comprehension. You can see which of the pictures goes good with that sentence. That bag is mine. Okay, so look at the pictures and see which one goes good with that sentence. Okay, so. Um, we're going to look at these sentences together. Like I said, this is your moment to um, get some practice, okay, at home. And then we're going to check it together, okay? So that bag is mine. That bag is mine. Is that book yours? Is that book yours? Two pictures go good with this one. Is that book yours? So who does the book belong to? I'm asking a question. This is a question. Who does the book belong to? The book is hers, not mine. The book is hers, not mine. This is a tricky one. You might have more than one. So the book is hers, not mine. So remember, either write it out and underline the possessive pronouns or just write the possessive pronouns or just say them, okay? If you wanna just say them. The ball is his. The ball is his. This dog is ours and he's extremely cute. So. This dog is ours. That house is theirs. That house is theirs. Okay. So if you've decided to write them out, 
Okay, if you decided to write out these sentences and underline or circle the possessive pronouns, you can pause the video, okay? You can pause this video and then you can come back so um, for when we check the answers to check your work, okay? Now, um, if you didn't, then we can just con you can just continue now and see if you you guessed it right, okay? So this first one, that bag is mine. Who does the bag belong to? A quien pertenece? El bolso, la mochila, a quien pertenece? Who does it belong to? It's mine. It's mine. That's who it belongs to. It belongs to me. Okay, in this sentence, it's saying it belongs to me right here. Did you get it right? I'm pretty sure that you did, right? Okay, so now the next one. Is that book yours? What am I asking? I'm asking if this book belongs to who? Does it belong to you? Yours, yours. This is the possessive pronoun, okay? And this could be this picture here, or it could be this picture here right? Because it's a book. So is that book yours? Did you get it right? The next one, the book is hers, not mine. This one has two. And that's why I said it was kind of tricky. If you just got one, then good. And if you got both, great. Okay. So hers, did you get that one? And mine, did you get that one too? The book is hers, not mine. Who does the book belong to? To her. Is it mine? No, it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to her. And again, it can be this one here, because we can see that she's very happy to have her book. Or it can be this one here, because they're giving the book to someone else. Okay, so give yourself a tick if you got it right, or a check mark. The next one, the ball is his. The ball is his. His is the possessive pronoun. Okay. And obviously it's this picture here. It's the ball. Soccer ball or a football, depending on which country you live in or where you're learning English. The next one, this dog is ours. So if you said it goes with this picture, you're definitely right. He is a cutie, right? And um, this dog is ours. Who does it belong to? It's ours. It's ours. It belongs to us, right? And the last one, the last one, that house is theirs. So it's this house here. And does it belong to me? No. Um, does it belong to you? Is it yours? No, it's not yours. It's not mine. It's theirs. It's theirs. Okay. So if you are still checking your work, if you're still checking and reading through and seeing if you got it right, pause the video. Okay. And if not, we can continue and that's it for today. I hope it was short and sweet, short and sweet. And I hope you understand possessive pronouns a little better now. Next week, we're gonna look at, at uh, possessive determiners. And um, so maybe hopefully you won't get confused when you're using them. And that's it, you did it, good job. I'll see you here next time. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.